all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol idx ideonomic sync and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so here we are with idx yesterday's support and resistance was a little bit different these are the ones from the previous day and here we are seeing yesterday's resistance which was up here at 229 and yesterday's support which was 215 it actually got broken through it hit newer lows which we're going to look at in just a moment and this has been rising up since so today's a pretty short day so i decided to go ahead and do these now um, i apologize that i wasn't able to go ahead and talk much about yesterday's resistance and support that we needed to watch for today and the 50 day moving average was 216 and it's moved up now to 219. So thankfully things haven't moved much here and in per se for the fact that yesterday you didn't miss much by not watching yesterday's video, uh, which were these lines. I kind of just pre did them. I didn't have time to do them again. I apologize for that, but um, it's consolidating. When we look at the chart, it's consolidating. It's been rising. Right, we've been watching it since that one point of 166. It, it broke slightly through 170 and it started rising back up from that point. And we saw all the indicators leading towards a reversal. Right, at some point it was coming soon, and here we are now. So far, this stock has been holding itself up nicely above 208 and even above two dollars in general, and that's a good thing that you want to keep those numbers in mind. So the highest point that it reached in the recent run was 239 and the second highest point is right now here in this consolidation period 229 so i would write those two numbers down those are some important resistance levels but let's look at the most important one for friday here which is tomorrow and then also our support based off of what's going on in the chart let's delete these lines so you guys don't get confused and let's look at these points of reference so Currently, the price is at 225, and our resistance is, I think, right there on it to the T or above it by one cent. Let's see here. Yeah, it's 225 as well. So, probably a difference of the hundreds and thousands place. If that gets broken through, then you got 229 as your next resistance level, which was yesterday's resistance level over to today. And that is still an important resistance level to keep in mind. Now, the 50 day moving average has cut up to the price. So, like I always say in all my videos, the bulls need a breakthrough resistance to continue the run. Why do I say that? Well, the 50 day moving average continues to move up and catch up to the price. I mean, yesterday's 50 day moving average was around this area right here. And as you could see, the stock hasn't broken through resistance. It's been actually going downwards and upwards and like hanging out sideways. And the 50 day moving average by default at one point actually crossed the price and it's on its way here to cross the price if it continues in that upward direction and we would actually see this break through it and the price is just hanging out sideways by default getting it into bearish territory so that's something to watch and something to keep in mind so the resistance level currently 225 and needs to continue to break through it and since this is live it just went down to 223 so we need to watch this this needs to break through 229 to continue to pull forward and we'll see how it reacts and it just moved up to 224 again so the volatility of the market does exist there it's jumping up and down in this 30 minute time frame we're going to have to see who dominates it if the bulls or the bears you guys will be able to see that further on today um, probably afterwards um, once i post this video it'll probably the market will be closed or almost closing and we'll see an update of what's going on but 229 will still be important so support level is 210 actually let's see if i get it to the t here and if not it's 211 to the thousands place again same thing with the 225 it's 211 to the hundreds or thousands place because it's pretty close to 210 and if that gets broken through this may start to see newer lows and you'll have to look at the point of reference here of 208 and then down here at 201 as your next support levels to see how much deeper this is getting into bearish territory 
and pulling away from the 50 day moving average. Super important to keep these numbers in mind and pay close attention to how quickly this is moving downwards. Now, so far, this has been working its way up and it looks like there's some consolidation here. And if it continues to move sideways and, you know, rise up to the next levels, that will be a good, healthy run, right, for the bulls. But we need to watch this carefully. I mean, it's moving up and down. There's a lot of volatility in the last couple of days, but it's been holding itself up pretty well above $2. As long as it does that, I think that there's a shot here for the bulls to continue the run and the momentum. So we need to watch these numbers carefully and we need to watch how quickly this is moving downwards before it even continues to move up upwards, right? So these cues, I hope that they help you for tomorrow's trading day. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened. And I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets on these dates the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here and i break it down into more detail in the video but just to summarize it on these dates the s p 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose like for example this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 35.11 and the highest point reach was 3557. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 3588 and it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 3623. When you do the math, that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump. And there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now, I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news, on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps. And it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 33.88. That was an 80 point jump. There was probably ticker symbols rising up more than $3 per share on those dates. And even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than $3 per share. Check it out, see for yourselves. And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index, and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.